Now to the parents of a young girl who died in the sand at a Florida beach. Teresa and Jason say a sand hold collapsed on their seven-year-old daughter, burying her. Now they're sharing an urgent warning to save other families from that same heartbreak. ABC's Ariel Reshev sat down with them for this exclusive interview. The kids were looking up, you know, finding seashells and playing in the sand. Jason and Teresa Mattingly say they were enjoying the perfect beach day with their two young children when the unthinkable happened. We go to the beach, we think of water safety, and this never, ever once crossed my mind. And of course, looking now, I'm like, well, of course. And so that part's really frustrating because I'm like, man. Last month, seven-year-old Sloan and her nine-year-old brother Maddox were digging in the sand at this Fort Lauderdale area beach when things took a devastating turn. The sand hole suddenly caved in on them. Sloan was completely buried beneath her brother. Jason, you told me this happened in an instant. It's kind of a blur and it's probably maybe my mind protecting itself, but it just happened so fast. And in my mind, I had her in my hands but the weight of the sand was too much. It didn't matter that we were literally right there. It was just a hole and there's nothing. And then it just became chaos and horror. Several people frantically calling 911. The father started yelling for help. Uh -huh. His child is caught in a hole in the sand. My husband's up there and a bunch of men are digging on the beach. People were desperate to help you. I only knew of one. Um, it was a woman who she, I told her to call 911, and then it turned out she's a nurse. Once Maddox got out of, our son, got out of the sand, and they were checking him out of the beach, she stayed with him because, like, I wanted to be digging, and so she sat with him the whole time, and she was just, um, she's so kind. The family says it took nearly 20 minutes to fully get the children out of the hole several feet deep, but say it felt like time stood still. Sloan was rushed to a nearby hospital. Tragically, she did not survive. What would you say to those people who were on the beach who jumped in? I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. You witnessed um, pure horror. Thank you to the first responders. <laughs> the hospital, the, everyone. Everyone tried yeah. their hardest and unfortunately it didn't work out in our favor. Experts warn that sand holes, even relatively small ones, pose serious danger on the beach. Take a group of kids ages 5 to 11 years old, all varying in height, the shortest 3 foot 7, the tallest 4 foot 11. Experts say any hole dug should be no deeper than the knee of the shortest person digging it. In this case, about 9 inches. Was there a lifeguard on duty on the beach or was this just sort of an open public beach? Just, um, I think it's just an open public beach. Yeah, that would be something we would like to see change if we can. Um, again, we don't place any blame on no. Lauderdale by the Sea. In a statement to ABC News, the town of Lauderdale by the Sea says that they are developing a national safety campaign, telling us we will share it with as many coastal communities as possible to help prevent another unimaginable tragedy. We're also discussing how we monitor our beach, a local ordinance to ban digging on our beach, and the best way to honor Sloan. Life is all about love. and songs. Now the Mattingleys remembering their bright and vivacious daughter who loved unicorns and Taylor Swift. How do you want Precious Sloan to be remembered? Hmm. As a beam of light, mm -hmm. joy. She just lived life. She would come out in the morning <laughs> and she would fist pump she right out of bed. Just come out and just... She'd always be so happy. She wasn't into like the big, like, take me to Disney. She was like, just come dance with me in the living room. And so we did. As other families prepare to flock to beaches for the spring break season, the Mattingly's message through their tragedy, heartbreakingly clear. If we can do anything to save another family from going through this, whether that's signage, uh, beach patrol, and strangers, you know, if you see something that's dangerous, take the courage and say something.
So how do these sand holes pose a danger? Well, experts tell us if they're too deep, the walls or the sides can cave in and the sand can quickly become compact and heavy and trap people inside. The Mattingly's really want the families out there to know how quickly this can happen and to try to avoid digging altogether. As for how they are coping, they say they are handling their grief minute by minute. But I do want to show you an image that a stranger posted to their GoFundMe page. It was taken near the area where this tragedy happened and it appears to show a singular ray of light stretching from the sand to the sky and the family says that they feel like it's a sign from their daughter Sloan that she is at peace and it has brought them immense comfort. Diane? I'm glad they found that helpful. Ariel Reshev, thank you.